that rocked the US establishments and media. I was not present during the Vietnam era, and I was not present when Dr. King marched on the streets of Selma and Montgomery. But I was present in those other marches to believe that a determined and united people's movement will bring an end to this darkness and despair. In the Russell Einstein Manifesto on 9th July 1955, they said, quote, in the tragic situation which confronts humanity, we feel that scientists should assemble in conference to apprise the perils that have risen as a result of the development of weapons of mass destruction and to discuss a resolution, unquote. Almost 60 years have passed since then and the phrase weapons of mass destruction has now become a cliché. Thanks to celebrity journalists like Judith Miller and her former employer. United States, the self-styled savior of humanity, peace and freedom, now has the largest in history stockpile of nuclear, chemical and biological weapons in addition to its massive arsenal of traditional weapons and drones. Global economic aggression on one hand and military aggression on the other have reached a new historic low. Human civilization is crying out in pain because of the powers, economic and war policies, policies that make the share of wealth owned by the top 0.1% the same as that owned by the bottom 90%. This is America, and this is the American dream. Is there any way we can find a way through this mind-boggling mess? Can we find a language to fight back for ourselves, the 99%, getting out of the left-right, liberal, conservative, Republican, Democrat box? Do we, the 99%, have any legitimacy at all. Quaid Tagore said, where the mind is without fear and the head is held high, where knowledge is free, where the world has not been broken up into fragments by narrow domestic walls, where words come out from the depth of truth into that heaven of freedom, my father, let my country awake. I want to wake up in that country tomorrow morning. I am sure you do too. Can Noam Chomsky, the torchbearer of truth and the leading voice of dissent, help us to realize that dream? On behalf of Brooklyn for Peace, now it is time to honor him with our path liquor to peace award. Thank you. Eric, Office of Eric Adams. 